Into thick eyebrows? It just does. <laughs> yeah, Sometimes know. it depends. Because that carrot chick from a uh, Suicide Squad, like I don't really think she's that great looking, but her eyebrows, I'm just like, mm, that kind of. You're like, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, dude, you're the first dude I've ever met. That's like, yo, you see that chick's eyebrows? Yeah, I, yeah, I wouldn't say they're on it. point. <laughs> I'm, I'm a weird guy. Though. We were just driving around here, and I was like, oh, Justin. Did you see how big that Barnes and Nobles is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he literally said that. He's like, "Oh, that, I'm, I'm all about that." I'm like, really, Brandon? <laughs> you nerd, you? I know, uh, I, I know, I know what you're talking about. You took the Parkway down, and then they probably put you on 35 or 36. What are you yeah, on? yeah, 35. Yeah. <laughs> Turnpike to the Parkway, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Dennis, stupid intern. <laughs> stupid intern. Dennis, the intern. I we have a backup here that I'm trying to, yeah, trying to get working. Dennis screwed it up. Let me ask you guys a question real quick before. What's up? Um, we have an intern. His name's Dennis. You might have seen him running around here. If you had to yell for Dennis, you need him to yeah. get a charger for your phone. Yeah. How would you do it? Dennis! Mother- Dennis! You were going to throw a motherfucker in there. I always got to throw some kind of extra shit. You would hate Dennis's eyebrows, man. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's no question about it. Not good eyebrows. Uh, they like all thin and uh, fading. Like a uh, know, you know what? No one has ever seen. Well, f- few, very few people have seen Dennis. Okay. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, he's well, like it, a disembodied voice. Uh, is is Dennis a figment of your imagination? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, he's Dennis not, is a real man. thing. He's, he's a real not. guy. Some some of the PBR posse has actually met him. Or um, well, they think they met him. Well, no, some have met him. Some, some know. That is true. He was at the uh, he was at the pod fest and uh, he was at Derek's one man show. That's right. Which okay. you guys, if you guys weren't there, lucky you. <laughs> Please, <laughs> yeah. Justin would have probably been there, but he was. You were in California. Yep. Justin Brown and Brandon Collins from Medium Popcorn. Yes, That's right. Sir. I, yeah. lo- I love I love popcorn at the movies, but why Medium Popcorn? Well, I mean, that's this guy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Brandon. Guys, well, 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 Brandon had the podcast before yeah. I did. I just picked medium popcorn because uh, that's usually what I get. Because the things are so fucking big, too now. big. That's man. Ca- yeah, that's so a- medium is like old, it's like a lar- old large. You Medium's know I mean? already so, it's huge. Yeah, you get a fucking large, you're gonna feel like a piece of shit after you eat it. And now you notice they don't even like it's like you want a small soda. It's not even it's, you don't even say small. It goes like. Large, yeah. extra, large, and like super. Yeah. Like there's no yeah. there's no medium or small much. drinks anymore. Mm-hmm. And it's just free refills and all these. Um, well, it's terrible. I, I, nobody's going to buy, a, you know, a small a, anymore because, you know, they cost a $1,000, <laughs> yeah. you know, for, for a medium. You might as well. So, guys, thank you so much for, for coming on the podcast, man. Um, tell, tell us a little bit about uh, about medium popcorn and like how you started it, right? So how, Yeah. And and. You did so, not steal this from Phil Collins. No, no. So what the happened was uh, the, the original <laughs> song uh, was actually over Forget Me Not, the Men in Black sample. Uh, mm-hmm. And I was trying to sing to that. But I got like, I was doing it by myself, but it was depressing talking about movies to myself, like into the microphone. You're, was it was like, just a monologue? At first? Yeah, it was just like, wh- who's going to listen to this? Who's going to want to hear me just pontificate about fucking films? Justin and I like to talk about anything, but we mostly talk about movies all the time. Yeah. When we would see each other at the time, we were running a weekly comedy show. So I'm like, hey, dude, let's just fucking do this podcast. He wants to do a podcast. I was like, let's just team up. And then we, it took us a while to think of the theme song. Yeah. But when we got it, we got yeah, it. Just like, fit. <laughs> people listen to the show sometimes just to hear us, like, the theme song. <laughs> we, don't we'll care, just, we don't care if they stay to listen to the rest of the show. If you listen to the theme, we still got your download, so it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, do, you, do you break out in the song? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, this, yeah. I feel what this episode's going in what direction. It's <laughs> oh, we might. Yeah. <laughs> we we constantly, I, you know, it might it might just have to happen. Thank you, Frankie. Frankie, our producer, everybody. Hey. We break out in the song sometimes um, too. I am blown away by uh, people who oh, do I podcasts hate. like the Monday Morning Podcast or like uh, we have a friend uh, Andy Malafarina who does a, a one man 
like monologue. Yeah, mm-hmm. dude, it blows my. mind. You ever listen to Bill Burr's money? Yeah, 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 Bill Burr yeah. does it. Yeah, like to do that is it, I'm fascinated by. It. I could never do it. I have a hard enough time, you know, kind of quarterbacking this whole thing. But to just talk by yourself, it's tough, man. And that's why, like, I mean, if we're all real, like Mark Maron, I'm sure we all skip through his intro where he just rants and shit. Like, eighteen minutes. You got to go eighteen minutes in. Yeah, it's just and ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> then you but, get a uh, great interview. The only person I think I can never like listen to like who just talks along lanes besides like Bill Burr would be Joe Rogan on a few of his episodes where he just like goes in these long rants and stuff. Yeah. Or um, I have a friend named J.L. Calvin who's a comedian in New York City, and he sometimes does a lot of solo shows. And I, I really like his opinion. Um, unfortunately, he just recently quit his podcast because he just got tired of it. But um, <laughs> there's very few people that can just hold the microphone by themselves, and I realize I'm not one of those guys. Yeah. I mean, there's people downloading the show, and they were like, oh, I, I really like the show. But I was like, yeah, I need someone to play off of because sometimes I see such crazy things. I need someone to kind of be like, yeah, Brandon, but that's not how you really are. <laughs> Help me out. Yeah, you kind of need cool. someone to uh, retort back to and stuff. Yeah, right? I've said some crazy shit on multiple shows that I need my, <laughs> my friend to be like, hey, that's not really what Brandon does. Plus, I think it's more of a dynamic, too. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, and it's also you need somebody to up your crazy, and that's and, that, and that's what I do. So I, I like the one up end sometimes. Is that it? This is the this yeah. is okay. So this is the intro to medium popcorn. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you actually took the song and changed? Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Phil Collins is coming after us. <laughs> do I have a back? I have a back connection. Yeah, it's uh, it sounds horrible. Yeah. yeah, you don't really get the easy love. We'll, we'll, we'll bring it yeah. back in. We'll bring it back in. Is that, oh, and then you you pop up actually singing it. You're getting down. Oh yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Were you both singing that, or just Brandon? No, that's no, Justin. Bo- that's oh, that Justin. Was you. And then I'm doing the ad libs. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing like the Barry White. Like, hey, <laughs> Does the hey. intro. The intro changes every show. No, no that's no. that's what I, I love. We've been thinking about like uh, possibly doing a new theme song, um, but. I think it's all going to depend on like what what works best. What Phil Collins to- says. <laughs> <laughs> what if we just kept doing Phil Collins songs? Like we did yeah. Air of the Night next to him. <laughs> Studio. Or we do like a Tarzan song or <laughs> some shit. Like <laughs> a Tarzan song. <laughs> Son of a man. <laughs> Sorry, I was really. What do you think? Do, our theme song. We our, our, ours is like a classic now, right? What, what, define classic. Well, I mean, it it was one way, and then it got switched around a little bit. I, I did a re-edit when we rebranded the show, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I mean, what do you think? Very catchy still? I, I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I like it. I mean, I'm, maybe I'm just used to You know how you get used to something? I mean, I feel weird because I stopped playing. I changed the format a little bit. I stopped playing it for our guests, and then we used to flow right into it. But I felt like there was always so much good banter when people just sat down. Yeah, that, yeah, And yeah, playing yeah. it made people either oh, yeah, yeah. Like get serious or feel uncomfortable or whatever it did. It took them out of us. Just bullshitting. Yeah. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, it sometimes does that, yeah. Yeah. So I cut it in later. So you haven't heard it, so now we're talking about it, so now it's awkward. <laughs> and yeah, but, heard but, they've heard, but everyone listening heard it. Yeah, they just the heard it a minute ago. Heard, Yeah. But uh, so anyway. Well, uh, I mean, if you guys are asking us, we will remix your uh, <laughs> theme song for you. I mean, it's no problem. Yeah. Next episode of Media <laughs> Podcast. I mean, listen, I can play the 28 seconds of it if you want to freestyle over it. Okay. Well, well you know what? Play it for us. Yeah. And then we're gonna see so, what we can do. All right, so we'll play. <laughs> we're gonna play. Right, here we go. Hit it. If you could tell me where that hit is from, I'll give you a million dollars. Actually, this guy right here. You don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> no. It's not David Bowie, right? No. Oh yeah. So that's the second time tonight you've heard that. Yeah, I, tell you, I have no idea where it's yeah, from. Me neither. What the guy? The guy. The you know, guy. You don't part. know where the guy's from? I don't. A culture sophisticated, and then the culture. girl says, "Yeah." So, wait, is it JFK? It's not JFK. Hmm. Anybody want to take a guess? I, I from guess. a Mel Brooks film. Uh, uh oh. Spaceballs. No. Uh, Blazing Saddles. No. Mm. Do you want to just keep going through the repertoire? Before <laughs> yeah, you yeah. I was, I was, I was like, well, let me think of any other movies it's, I know. It's G Wilder from Young Frankenstein. Oh, oh. nice. Good Rest in Gene. peace. Good old R.I.P. Yeah. I don't know. That's it. Uh, 2016 sucked. Man, so <laughs> many, so many <laughs> so artists. Many it like. took everybody away from us. Mm, crazy. I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. I'll I, throw the reverb up. What on the? Uh, we'll just start. We'll, we'll just do it. On the on the on our song. <laughs> <Or> yeah. The- <laughs> I mean, do you think? Do you think? I, I feel like I don't know, man. I feel like a battle coming on. 
a freestyle <laughs> battle? I don't know about a freestyle battle. Like we we'll, we'll do what they we do, and they'll do what they Wait, do. But I think oh, okay. I, hey Frank, do you think we can put it out to Twitter to the PBR posse um, about a song? We need a song title, any song, and the first one to come out, we'll, uh, so we'll do a battle. So oh, whatever yeah, fan yeah. tweets okay. right now, yeah. at us. And we'll right? do a song over. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Right, Every, right. Everybody, everybody retweet it, and then we'll uh, tag us all in it, and then we'll converse, and then when somebody gives us a good one, um, we'll do it. What do you think? Yeah, I'm, that, that sounds fun. I'm down sounds with that. sexy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> two, two, <laughs> oh, this is so sexy right now. Yeah, that's, what we, yeah. that's what my remix is going to be about. I just let you guys know. Too bad uh, <laughs> we, don't, we don't have the video going right now. We played, Derek had a great game called, that we is a called good game. PBR Puppetry. Okay. So when we did the four cameras going, um, and it, it would be the person across from you would be your teammate, and, you, and then uh, so I would black out all the cameras except for the one person that was yeah. mimicking what his partner was saying, and okay. you had to stay with him for like thirty seconds and like lip, lip you know what I mean? lip, what, lips without knowing. Okay. Oh shit! So yeah. you'd like pick out of a hat. It would be like I don't know Trump. You know, and then so I would have to give a, dis a dissertation on Trump, and you would have to mouth what I'm saying. Okay. But you'd be the only one on camera. It was it was a fun game. Yeah. So he like I, yeah I, like he would do the Trump um, accent, and you would try to just imitate it. On okay. But All again, right. on camera, and there's no camera. Right. There's no camera right now. No, so it's no, actually terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible idea. <laughs> I like, tell you, it's <laughs> happening right now, guys. Uh, I swear. Um, so while, while we're waiting for that, um, how did you guys meet? Oh, we met a set of uh, college humor, right? In uh, Staten Island. Like, yeah, man. We were just talking about this the other day, like uh, nine years ago. Yeah, we were. Um, <laughs> it was uh, something. Ghost Spiders. Uh, yeah, Ghost right? Spiders. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. ridiculous sketch called Ghost Spiders. And uh, I was playing a fucking. <laughs> Uh, you're like a goth yeah, kid. Yeah, I was like a goth kid. I was a goth <laughs> I kid. I usually peg you as a goth kid. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. But Brandon was playing the guy who's bullying me in class. <laughs> so it was, it was just really weird because you have the smallest guy bullying like the biggest dude in class at the time. <laughs> and like I was, you know, I, I was, I was, I was. I was bigger then. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was bigger then because I was do because I used to fight and do all that kind of stuff. So I was oh, like, yeah, you know, much really bigger than I was, yeah. you know, at this time. And I'm doing this goth character. Yeah, I just kept making fun of you the whole like when, even when the cameras were rolling. I was just like, uh, and we just we improv <laughs> yeah. the entire day. That's and awesome. we stayed in character. And then after <laughs> I was like, well, we got to be friends now. <laughs> like, Did you have like eye makeup on and stuff? Yeah, the whole, the whole. <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, he, and he told you, and he was attracted to you, right? Because your eyebrows were probably <laughs> on point. I'm fine. I'm seeing, there I'm it seeing is. a thing there with you, man. They look there pretty good. They look how, do pretty you, good. how do you feel about his, eye, his eyebrows? They're like nice. They're, they're, you know, they're, See, these are perfect bushier. eyebrows. They get a little bushier than when we first met, but I can still <laughs> work with it. I can. I can manage. When, what, how do you feel about like painted on eyebrows? I hate them. What's oh, up with that? Terrible. Oh, I, I don't them. like it either. They look so disgusting. It's like, what happened to your real eyebrows? It's kind of like, yeah. If you don't look like a cancer patient, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> did, like, did you tag us? Some women get them tattooed on. They get the eyebrows yeah, tattooed yeah, on, yeah, and they get yeah. eyeliner tattooed yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, that's Which insane. Eyeliner, weird. maybe I could see because it's just, you know, girls are always putting that on or whatever, but yeah. like that, that, you could totally tell the eyebrows. Yeah, Unless yeah. you like have a really talented tattoo artist who actually makes it look like grainy hair or whatever, uh, but just, yeah, man, no. it's, it's kind of like doing when when uh, women do the lips. Like, who are you fooling? We know. You're, yeah, you're, like, yeah. come on, your face. You look like you got stung by being. It doesn't look good. <laughs> oh, like boy. I don't get it. It doesn't look good. Why do they? Who? What? what these doctors are still in business. It doesn't look good. I, don't, I just don't get it. Well, <laughs> my apologies for anything. Yeah. Like, I just, just, I just, it, it, it's, it's stupid. If you're, thinking, yeah, if you're thinking about getting it, don't. Does it go? Does it go too far, and you can't get it back, and that's why you tattoo? Well, I think a lot of them, if they if they're getting it plucked so much and, and things like that, and they can overdo it. Or, that's or, why you or, see only Dominican women with them. Ooh. Oh wow! You just why you just, <laughs> just just took a stab right at Dominicans, huh? Frank, can you look at our uh, demographics to see how we're doing? Because we just lost our four followers. Right now. Sometimes our four though, Dominican followers are gone now. Sometimes it's it's the worst. Sometimes they can be like artistic with them, make them look good. I guess not artistic. I mean, look look decent. But you ever see the ones that just look like frowns? Just like frowns. Yeah, yeah. 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 They're just two frowns. And it's always on a really pale person. And you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, no. So if you're like dating a girl and she's painting them on, she draws them on, right? And you, like, and you like piss her off. Does she go? So she's a whole upset. <laughs> she like <laughs> rubs it off. Well, you just wait till you see what I'm all about right now. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> one, just makes them squiggly. The one thing I didn't think this conversation would go to was eyebrows. eyebrows yeah. yeah. Well, have you ever, uh, well, you guys probably have never been to a Dominican barber. They actually do your eyebrows. They yeah. try to do your eyebrows. Really? It's a, it's a thing. I wasn't and, being 
of racist guys. No, but, <laughs> but, 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 if, but if, if you don't stop them, they will start doing your eyebrows. So like, yeah, <laughs> yeah don't, so I was like, no, 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 don't touch it's my eyebrows. It's the kind of thing where you might just let them do it because you're afraid to be like, oh, shit, is this bad? Is yeah. this, what's happening? <laughs> I don't like the shape up eyebrow thing. Like, I, I'll... I do that myself. My money, yeah, too. yeah. Like I'll I'll take it down a little bit because they, I, I'll look like um like um Gargamel? Einstein or or uh, <laughs> you know you know what I mean like yeah, like yeah, I'm doing yeah. it like it gets just, clawed and just, oh. just pick any old man yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it starts like getting your eye a little bit like yeah, take, you know to, what I mean you gotta, ooh, you gotta take it down a little bit eyebrows get in the eyes man what, well how old are you I'm thirty yeah wait eleven years Jesus Christ. all kinds of shit happens I've, dude I've never I've never touched <laughs> <laughs> wait till you see when I was like forty one you're you're gonna wake up one day and be like what the fuck like no no shit uh, why are my eyebrows down to my balls what happened here yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've never touched my eyebrows ever. Really? Then done. done you're blessed. To them. Yep. You're, you're a blessed man. I mean, yeah, there's not much. You know, you uh, you said you used to fight, huh? Yeah, I commentate, He's a big MMA fan. I commentated Huge. cage fighting for many years, and uh, oh, I produced and commentated in, uh, mostly in uh, South yeah, Jersey. You. And, uh, oh, nice. Atlantis. You ever fight for in? Uh, do you ever fight professionally or or amateur? I I fought uh, some smoker matches. Okay. You know, some you know, I fought some matches in Long Island. I fought a match in Indiana. Okay. Uh, before. Um, I never fought down in uh, South okay. Jersey. I've been, I've been to a few, a few fights. Were you just Justin Brown? Or did you have like a yeah? What was it? Justin uh, the uh, blah blah yeah. Brown. Uh, just well, <laughs> I did. I great. did have a thing called great. Outbreak. They called oh, okay. me Outbreak, short for Outbreak Monkey. <laughs> but uh, what, what did you have like skin rash or something? <laughs> I, I had a really because when I first started training, I had, I had really bad st- uh, not staff infection. Um, um, oh, Jesus, Ursa? like ringworm, uh, uh, ringworm. Yeah, oh. and and I spread it throughout the entire fucking gym. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so I, I got called outbreak monkey by my <laughs> trainer, saying it just stuck. It stuck. I love you like laughing and smiling about that. <laughs> no, but it's hilarious. It's fucking that's hilarious. That's pretty common. That's actually oh, not. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. We were oh. talking. We were talking about it. Uh, we had um, Robert, Yeager? Robert. Oh, Frank Yeager. We had on from. That seat? I heard you know Frank Yeager. Yes, sir. And uh, so we were talking about like you know this show is about the revolutions of our guests, right? So yeah. eventually we get to like the, what, in, in the year twenty fifty, like what your industry is going to be like. And I was talking. We were talking to Frankie, and he he was already talking about like how they're covered when they train head to toe, almost mm-hmm. like a body condom. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like, and I wanted to go back. And I haven't trained in a long time, and I used to train just. Basically, to understand the sport better, to talk about it, mm. you know. But I don't. I, I'm a germaphobe, man. There's pubes on the mat, and like I, you, I, I don't want to do it anymore. I gotta say, yeah. you know what I mean. You gotta wear full body condom. And when does it come around your face? Like I, when do we get to that point? <laughs> <laughs> Here's what's crazy to me, and I know they get tested and stuff, but I have no desire to, to get in a ring and punch, get punched in the face and stuff. But at the same, like I don't. If you do have that desire and you want to do that. How do you deal with like blood all over you and like well blood well, yeah, grappling blood and, and then yeah. like oh. his blood's on you and yours is on you him. You know what? There's, all, there's something just so, so anim- animalistic about that shit, Wait. and it just and it just it makes you fucking wa- like a wild fucking beast. Yeah. I, I don't like it. I got a quick question for you guys because you both said you're germaphobes and you're freaking out about blood. You guys seen the hateful eight? No. Oh fuck. No, I had. There's a, a scene th- where like a character gets like blood. They're like spitting blood out from their mouth into another person's face. No, and mouth. no, no, no. And I just no, imagine no. both of you being like, "No, I'm fucking out." It's not I'm that like, I'm a dude. Out, dude. I'm not, yeah. You, are, you I'm ever? Not, I guess I am. Like I'm. I don't. Get, maybe I am a germaphobe. I don't know. I well, like things just, clean. No one wants blood in their mouth. You, you ever roll with oh. a dude that sweats uncontrollably? Like I've 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 rolled with worse. My uh, my older brother. He used to you know you know do it as well and uh he has the worst fucking feet and body odor uh, in the world when we, when we say roll, we're talking about jujitsu like yes yeah. and this guy my, my old brother's like at the time he was like 265 pounds and he had you know his little gut on him and he just sweat like a stuffed pig and he yeah. just <laughs> smelled his feet look were talons and it yeah. was disgusting uh, we used to cut, make him roll in socks, socks. Uh, we used to make him roll in socks that's how bad it was there's the nothing first... worse when like someone especially like a friend or something just you're going out and you're like oh they stink or whatever and you're like Really? You tell them you got. I mean, not hasn't happened recently, yeah, yeah, but I'm saying I, uh, like Derek. People just, live li- who live in glass houses, dude. See, but I come think on, I, I smell glorious. You at smell all like times. a French whore. Please, <laughs> <laughs> smell glorious at all times. See, the thing is, I think my brother did it on purpose, though. I think he purposely smuggling like, onions <laughs> underneath his armpits. <laughs> yeah. I really did. I really think because people like there's a guy who would tap out. 
to, to his he, like he get him like in a side control and he have his arm right there right uh, right like, he just oh. have, he's like nah I'm good I'm yeah. good it's over that's foul though man that's yeah. a foul hold way on. to win hold on a second you know we're talking about odors and stuff if you think about it this is why our, we're all messed humans in general we're all messed up bo stinks smells like onions but when onions smell like onions in a sub you're like that smells good or like I don't think everybody's uh, unattracted to stinks. Onion. Ever take a piece of provolone and just smell? well, honestly, like I mean, uh, I mean if we're, ever being real, when we're like about the oh, fucking stuff, we kind of get off in that. Mu- I, I get off in like that <laughs> musk, <laughs> that, musk. <laughs> that like musky smell. I'm like, yeah, yeah I like you I like want it. you want your woman to smell like she just went for a jog, huh? Oh, it all depends. Uh, okay. No, all right. man. No, I'm like okay. the weirdest no. stares. I'm telling too much about myself on this. Yeah, that was that was all Brandon Collins. <laughs> <laughs> right, just in case you don't you didn't catch the voice, everybody. <laughs> Um, that was him. <laughs> the first show that I produced was a very small venue. And the reason I brought the whole thing up was this to go on both of your stories. This dude who sweat uncontrollably, I'm not, I shouldn't say his name right, but I don't know. No, he, say he, he, he <laughs> said Tom Rand. I won't say it. He, uh, he tapped this dude out. Um, the guy tapped out because he had him. I've never seen anything like it before or since he was on top of him yeah just holding him in a bear hug it was like a minute in so how much you you know you're sweating but how much right yeah mm. the dude on the bottom he was sweating so bad the guy was getting waterboarded <laughs> i mean he filled oh. his mouth oh. with sweat. <laughs> you know oh, God. That, and the guy i just like, imagine that happening man oh. it all and over he, like spit it out uh, all over the place he started complaining you. like he, he was like this it's yeah, illegal that's, that's gross like you know yeah, there's, <laughs> no like, law. Oh, there's, there's no rule about rule i mean sweating so much into someone's mouth that they can't breathe oh Could that is oh gross. that's gross oh, well I, I the first no. the I'm first out. tournament that i was in he probably won't have sex with him. <laughs> <laughs> i mean how, how, how you, you want to pound on that <laughs> how thick was the musk <laughs> how determined how thick was the musk how thick were his eyebrows <laughs> just to let me know <laughs> so uh, the first tournament I, I i was in i was doing naga actually out here in jersey and um and i had this guy in a peruvian necktie Mm-hmm. So I'm, you know, kind of, kind of over, and I'm, and I'm sitting back now. Mind you, you know, training for this thing, I had to drop down from, you know, to like one sixty nine, to like that. I'm just like, you know, doing the whole protein shake and all that kind of shit, and so I got protein farts. Mm. And I'm sitting there, and I got this guy, and he's right under me, and I couldn't hold it, and I just let one loose Dude, right on a, his fucking skull. You have a farting problem, man. You know, this, you know Brandon we were, is getting so hot right now. No, yeah, no, no, no. I fucking hate him for the farts. We were saying uh, we were in Boston together this past weekend, nonstop farting. In the hotel room, I'm like, dude, you, you don't fart. This episode, really, I do, but like, really he went into like it. seventeen oh, times a day. Order. I'm like, you hey, need man. to get it together, <laughs> Justin. <laughs> well, well, you know, because because I have a milk, I have a milk allergy, and and I and I got a hot chocolate oh, that's from right. downstairs. You can't eat, that's right. But it, but the milk and uh, but it was made with milk. I thought it was made with water. So you know that it, it messed up my stomach yeah. a little bit. So that's some farts. I mean, women, then with men, with guys. <laughs> yeah, this episode dude. really went into the odor realm. Yeah, now, now that we're on it, I mean, do you ever? Like, what about, like, you're dating a girl. What's the rule there? Like, do you want to hear it? Do you want, I don't want, I don't want to hear it. Uh, her farting? Yeah, like, like my ex, like, she was cracking up one time and she let one loose because she was laughing and she got so embarrassed. I was cracking up. But, uh, I, I mean, I don't want her, like, hey, hey, D, check it out. Like, I don't want with, that. Once in a while is fine, but if you're queefing, that's what the weird thing I have. Oh, that's weird. I don't, like que- I don't like queefing. No, I love the queef. I love the queef. I meant farts. <laughs> I love the queef, because if, if she's queefing, that means I'm doing something right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Where the hell is this episode? Really? Yeah, she's doing something right, my, my friend. Do you guys I know? Like, I feel like we ruined the show. <laughs> you both are just, like, impossible. get your eyes <laughs> down. Zero chance. Like <laughs> But no, anyway, that's uh, I, I just was thinking like yeah, I don't I don't dig when but chicks fart. I, I, I I'm I'm with you. I think it's like once in a while, okay, but let's not make it a regular thing. Sure. And, but but the thing is like if it smells really bad, that's when I'm just like, all right, now I'm gonna have to change your diet. I'm gonna have to change your diet. You like you eat more pineapple. Is that <laughs> a, pineapple. Is yes, pine- pineapple like counterbalance <laughs> gas? It's good. No, I, well, I, that's I, what they tell us, right? Because they want to. It's good for us to eat pineapple and celery yeah, and, yeah. And, and cucumbers and stuff. Asparagus. Oyster. Yeah. No, uh, I don't know about that. I thought asparagus was good for the. No, asparagus uh, makes it. Smell makes that makes your pee yeah. reek. Mm. But it's, it's, it's delicious. oysters and shit like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. All those yeah. peanuts. Yeah. Stuff. 
So, so you you're on this comedy show and you're you're playing best friends and you love his eyebrows. So you decided you guys got to be best friends. <laughs> what was the? What, <laughs> we went so far off the beaten path. What was the next step? That's what I do. I bring it back. What, so, what was like the next step to? Uh, how did it go from that to sitting down for medium popcorn? Uh, I. I was trying to put together a sketch comedy group, and I got Justin and my friend Dylan Stevenson, shout out to him, uh, to help me form a sketch comedy group, and we were called Grits Comedy. We had a good run for about three years or so. Mm -hmm. We had some video sketches up on YouTube and stuff, and then uh, we all still remain friends. We were doing like stand-up shows together. Like Our group was pretty tight because we all like kind of started in comedy together, in New mm -hmm. York comedy scene. So uh, I just known Justin for nine years, and we just hang out. We party and all that shit but no no see the thing the one the thing was what got me in is because he wanted to do a live podcast of that fucking movie the room you the get, room the room with tommy lazo no oh you haven't seen it wait oh you never heard of the room see it? No. no no you it's don't it's the worst no, movie no, no, ever you made don't. It's, it's, oh you have to see it though. no no you don't I, everybody's got is it, it is it like bad like human centipede or is it it's bad. Like you never, you're never gonna have that experience of watching that for the first time again. <laughs> like <laughs> it's just you're, bad. That's a you're great gonna be, no, you're no, gonna be no. baffled by what you're seeing on no, TV. Like they they play it in theaters and oh, like people. Oh, I took it to the midnight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, uh, they, they they people throw spoons. So at the so screen, it's bad. Like like like, like uh like um Rocky Horror. Rocky Horror. Horror. Yeah, but no, oh, it's, but worse, it, it's, than it's that. worse than like that. the acting's bad. Everything's bad. Yeah, oh, I mean, no, it's atrocious, dude. It's being turned into a, the making of this movie is so bad. It's being turned into a movie with James Franco, Seth Rogen, all those guys because the guy is so batshit crazy. Who made it? There's like this crazy book I read about it where it's just the most phenomenal backwards way you. And make these guys are going to remake it. Yeah, well, they're like they're talking about the making of the film. It's it's, uh -huh. it's a. I can't believe you haven't seen it. You got I got, now. It. I got to see it. The room. Now I kind of want to see it. Yeah. <clears throat> now see it. To Netflix hate it. on Netflix. No, just you go on YouTube and watch clips. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't. You, I don't know if you want to watch the whole almost two it's hours. It's called The Room. It's, they, <laughs> they, they Google re, The Room. They reuse, Google The Room film. They just reuse the sex scenes multiple times in this movie. Yeah, it's just bad. <laughs> but see, the, the thing is, bad. Everything's bad. I hate this movie so much that it makes me angry. That's and like it makes me angry at Brandon because he brought it into my life. <laughs> and then we went to this screening thing of it, and the guy Tommy Lazo actually showed up, and I wanted to beat him more than I wanted to beat Brandon. And I'm, I'm getting upset right now, even thinking about it. Like it's infuriating. It really gets you to the core. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, Justin wanted to hurt me like several times. The, the room, everybody, go check it out. It's great reviews. <laughs> <laughs> great reviews. But we did. What we did. Uh, but we did kind of like um, a mystery science theater. And we watched the movie and we commented on the yeah. same time. And then and then from there, we started doing podcasts ever since. Yeah. We doing How long has uh, Medium Popcorn been going on? Uh, a little over uh, a year and a half now or so. Yeah, yeah because I remember when you started it. Yeah. Uh, for the fans listening, actually, I've known Justin. How long have I known you now? Seven yeah. years? Yeah. Seven, eight years or so. And uh, what, was the first, what was the first thing we shot together? I mean, it was some, obviously the Key of Awesome. Shout out to Mark Douglas, Key of Awesome. Oh, yeah. 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 Shout out to Mark Douglas. It, it wasn't Booty Jam. I don't th no. No, no. It, was, it wasn't was Booty not Jam. The first one. But, like, that's the first one that you and I were like, we were really, really in. I think well, we crossed paths only a few times before that. Yeah, I think in the beginning, like, I, I think when we first were like, you're always in one and I'm always in. And then we, yeah. never, we, we, we like, in the same one, we were never on, on yeah, the same we shoot. Were now, day. Yeah, we were never in the same shoot. I don't days. think the thriller was the, thriller was the first one either. We were in that one too. No, I, was, I wasn't in Thriller. Yeah, you were. I was in Thriller. Oh no, I was thinking of no, I was thinking of the one with You're thinking of the other black dude. No, no. <laughs> no, no, I was thinking of uh the one that's black and white with, with our shirts off and Lauren Francesca. Oh Lady no, Gaga. That was so Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga. Yeah, yeah. That was Lady Gaga. Yeah. That was that was after. That was after uh Booty Jam. That was after Booty Jam? That was oh, after Booty Jam. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what did you both accomplish? <laughs> anyway, I, I've known Justin for a while now. And, uh, we need a fact check. Uh, <laughs> Ching, yeah. Was, What's the fact check? Was the Booty Jam a video before or after the Lady Gaga? Um, uh, uh, applause. Uh, applause. Yeah. Applause parody. Yeah. There you go. Uh. There you go, Sid. Cha Ching. Well, yeah. So Sydney's on. Sydney's on hiatus. What? Uh, and I think we're our new fact checker right now. Is what is it? Andy. Wait, and, why is Sydney on? Hold on, hold yeah, on. Listen, listen. What she, is this hiatus? I don't blame her. She is going. She's trying to remove. We have a fact checker, Sydney okay. Lesperance. Cha ching. Uh, so she'll fact she'll fact she'll fact check and then tweet it out and we'll retweet it. So like, that's how oh, we get our fact gotcha. check. Yeah. So she needs to remove herself from social media. 
for a month. Like a cleansing? She's, yeah, she's doing a cleanse. So, oh, that's, so that's good. That's Frankie, good. what's this guy's name? Andy Barr. Andy Barr. Everybody. Andy Barr. Andy Barr. Wait, if we get at Andy Barr seventy nine. Wank, wank. <laughs> no cha-ching? Well, no, because right, that's it. Bar 79. <laughs> wank, wank. Fact check that. Who, uh, what was the question? Who was uh, in Booty Jam and who was in which, Jam which, Booty? Which, which parody was first? Well, the Booty Jam is an original. Yeah, the Booty Key Jam. Key of Awesome Booty Jam. Was that first or was the Lady Gaga applause video first? Yeah, yeah, that parody. Justin and I are in both, though. <sighs> yes. All right, so we got a tweet back. About the rap battle. Uh, oh. I didn't really want to make it a rap battle. Okay, uh, I think yeah. we're at well, a huge necessar- disadvantage. Doesn't necessarily have to be a rap oh, battle. That, that's why I thought I was hoping we were going to get some. <laughs> we were going to have more of a song option. Well, it could be it, it could be song or rap. All right, I mean, so I, I guess Drake like, sings does sing it, raps over. But they gave they gave us two specific songs, so we didn't like. Uh, one is not Easy Lover by Phil Collins. Damn it. Okay. So uh-huh. all right, so um, is it a duet? Like it me is, and you. Uh, it could be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let our guests choose which song they want to do. Okay. Right. Okay. But I think we should we should throw something into the pot here, right? Like I don't think uh, I think they should give us a topic. We should give them a topic, ah, and that's what you got to go ooh. at. Okay. Cool. All right. So, right. We're improving this shit. Right. Yeah. And I up. and I feel like uh, maybe <laughs> PBR has turned to UCB. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like maybe uh, uh, we we actually wouldn't be sitting here if this was UCB. <laughs> Not in a lot of diversity. Dennis, uh, we'll go- <laughs> Dennis will keep. <laughs> Keep, uh, oh, really? No, that's really? That's terrible. That's yeah, terrible. yeah, but Huge everybody, yeah, wait, hold on, let me so think about it. many hipsters I think are hilarious. Uh, what? Yeah, everybody I know from UCB is white. <laughs> yeah, I know a lot too. I, I never thought of it. I, I, I was a performer there for a number yeah, you of were years. The, yeah. yeah, and you know, yeah, I was the blackest thing, and that was, it was like Colorado. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't know, I don't know where you're going. We digress. With that. I, don't know. <laughs> um, I was, I, I just, Dennis, keep a thirty second count, forty five second. We don't want to let it go too long. Or uh, we just let it play thirty, out. thirty, play it out till maybe it's. I don't know. Thirty maybe is the cap. Got, can, all right, all right. Can, take thirty seconds. You got it. So Dennis, uh, thirty seconds on the clock. You got a top. Well, do you guys want to go first or second? Go first. Yeah, well, Dennis, and, and, and the they're way. picking right. the. Uh, all right, so you're gonna pick the song. All right, here are the, okay. the two options. Thank you to. Oh man, I really should probably have this up. <laughs> He's putting it on me. Yeah, I'm, listen, I'm putting it on Derek. I'm, I always that's some good ad libs. You know this. Bit. Every, you know. every time we sing, like I just let him go, and I just try to cover the bass background. <laughs> like I hit the bass line. Um, Catnip Magic put this out there. Thank you, Catnip. Magic. I was about to say, I don't know that song. What is that? No, no, she she's the one who tweeted this out. So uh, the two options are, and I'm Catnip I'm doing instrumental Magic. versions, right? Mm, that's yeah. her Twitter name. No, I, I said it's interesting. Yeah, I thought that was the name of the song too. I was like, oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's the Cat, topic. Catnip Magic in maybe. the air. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you said there's two songs. There are two songs, man. I'm trying to get to it. Now, is it, is it both of us? Do, are we doing the same song, different topic, or we're both doing two separate? Two two, uh, oh, I thought she. I thought two different songs. So she wanted Snoop Dogg versus Wu Tang. Ooh, oh. So I took. Actually, I'm not going to tell you what song I googled. I just did Snoop Dogg and uh, Wu Tang instrumental. All right. Okay, so we bo- we're, we're like one of us is doing Snoop Dogg, one of us teams, me and you are either doing Snoop Dogg or Wu Tang, and either Brandon or Justin are doing Snoop Dogg. Yeah, so we're not doing the same song, different topic. We're gonna do a different song. Okay, gotcha. And different topic. Do we want gotcha. you want to do it that way? Yeah, yeah. So, so we'll give you a Snoop topic. Dog beat? Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll Let's go do uh, the drop it like it's hot beat. Oh wait, uh, all right. You want? I already have a beat in. <clears> here. Oh, you have a beat? Yeah. Oh, exactly. Okay. All right. No problem. What song is it? Uh, it's a. Uh, it's um. Nothing but a G thing. So it's more like the uh, that's chronic. Right. But that's fine. We, we can do that. You want okay. me to I'll put no, it No, no, we can do nothing but a G thing. That's yeah, fine. We got to think of a topic for him. All right. So our topic um, is uh, why. You, I, you know, I got one. <laughs> topic, Go ahead. The topic All is right. why. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to give you a term. Can I give you a term? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah you can give a word or a topic. Sure. Milk don't only F up my stomach. It took over UCB. <laughs> Milk don't mess up my stomach. It also took over so UCB. Ba- so mi- being lactose intolerant is the theme. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Milk in your belly, getting on the telly. One, two, three into the boat. Justin Brown's knocking at your door. Uh-huh. Them about to come on in. UCB's at the door, and Brandon Collins is coming with the thunder. Everybody knows I gotta wonder what these brothers doing in this basement suburb. Everybody knows my blood dirt dirt. <laughs> oh, he what? gave me some ice cream. Oh shit, I'm about to 
<laughs> my stomach free. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that's it. That's it. oh, wow. Oh, God. Shit. Oh, wow. That I think we terrible. got a shot. You ever notice? <laughs> I never noticed. That, oh, was, that, was that so wasn't bad. bad. It also wasn't good. No, no, no. <laughs> it wasn't bad. It wasn't good. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> we both, like, we're just, we just, like, didn't have the bat handle of the English language for some reason <laughs> at some point in our verses. <laughs> oh, but you, know, you know, like sometimes when you're like thinking of, a, you're just freestyling in your head and you're just flowing. Yeah, like, yeah. How is this? <laughs> like, I wish someone was listening right now so I could say it out loud. And then you get like put on the spot and. <laughs> oh, man. That was like the ending of Eight Mile. <laughs> just, just, just you were Papa Doc. Just, yeah, you just, <laughs> just fucking. I, feel, I was so nervous, but I think I feel, I feel a little better. <laughs> I, think we gotta, I don't think we're going to embarrass ourselves. Guys, like guys, can we get a redo for. <laughs> See, Wait. I'm not freestyle. Like, I'll, yeah. do, I'll, 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 I'm more. Improv of a, like, is definitely different than full, freestyle. Like, hundred yeah. percent. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Full <laughs> disclosure: We also did the media popcorn theme song. We did like at least t- ten cuts of that <laughs> to get yeah. it right. So, <laughs> see, but I, I'm, I'm better at freestyling like songs. Well, when you, yeah, when you, so yeah. are we. So, yeah, like, so, we're not. Songs. When rap comes up, I'm yeah. just like, ah, fuck. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly, we both are. Sometimes I'm good. Sometimes I'm bad. I don't know how I'm gonna be right now. All right, so uh, we are the Wu Tang Clan. Anyway. And uh, I guess you guys have to give us a topic, and we'll... Um, what beat are you doing it to? Uh, cream. Ooh. Oh, ooh. That's a nice one. <laughs> uh, um. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, thick, eye, thick eyebrows and loving the fart. Oh! Thick eyebrows and loving the fart. Yeah, tell me what you like. <laughs> oh, man. Are you going first? I don't know. Should I? <laughs> are you going to throw something to me? I might throw something to you. <laughs> or do you want to throw something <laughs> to me? <laughs> you want me to throw something? So thick is eyebrows this, uh, and a medium fart. Is this part of your 30 seconds? That that? No, 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 we're just no. getting get into it. No. You know what I hear? I hear in Mexico, there's a lot of Mexicanos with thick eyebrows that like to fart. How are we going to stop that from getting into this country? Well, one, two... Three is to the four. It's Tur- It's D Trump at your door. I'm about <laughs> knocking at you, and it is Trump. I see those eyebrows. There's a wall. You're gonna have to jump. Hey, <laughs> when you climb up the ladder, you're gonna fall because I'm gonna knock you down with my farts near my balls. <laughs> it stinks. I gotta tell you, it's great though. It's gonna be fantastic, and I'm um, boombastic like Shaggy. Okay, isn't that a guy? Yeah, these guys, right? <laughs> anyway, I wasn't too familiar with the rap. Okay, your turn. Go, Mike. That's it. I think that time is up. Man. <laughs> like, He's like, I'm not embarrassing myself. <laughs> well, you didn't even rap. I don't have to. I threw it to you. That's what we do in this show. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I think I would rather. I, yeah. That was fun. Uh, both of your both of your impressions were really good. That's what threw me off about Jessica. She she sounded like Snoop Dogg, and I was like, oh shit, <laughs> this is weird. Uh, I don't. He's like, I don't. I, mean, I feel like if great. I had that was a great with, Trump. Holy yeah, well, good, thank good. you, man. I mean, it's good. It's, I mean, good. it's fantastic, I, guys. I I don't know that. That's really him. This is you've you met POTUS, right? Donald Trump? I, I, I totally have. I, I gotta I gotta tell you guys, it's fantastic that you're here. Okay. I didn't on know. PBR podcast. I'm glad they let you in because it could be a wall out there as well. It could be very simple. I commend wall. Trump for coming on Sway in the morning. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy Sway and Heather B. Will she on the real world? She's fantastic. <laughs> She's great. Oh, all right, here we go. You guys ready for this? <laughs> yes. We like to play games here on We still uh, should sing later, maybe. I mean we wrapped this. Listen, <laughs> another song may come in on the Thanks. tweets. Oh, and, that's uh, true. Thank we'll, you we'll to do it, man. What was her name? Crispy uh, yeah. Catnip, catnip Meow. Catnip, catnip Meow. What's Maybe her name Crispy. <laughs> write that down because Catnip Meow is going to be. We're going to sing a song called Catnip the topic Meow. Is, or later. Crispy Catnip. Crispy Catnip. Uh, I'll take some Crispy Catnip. You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll do. It. Guys, don't worry about it. We'll do it to a, a, a nice uh, Genesis beat. Hey, Catnip. <laughs> you know I, mean? I don't want to make anybody uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe we can get some Steve Perry. <laughs> catnip Just, Magic. What do your eyebrows look like? <laughs> <laughs> There is a picture. I'll pull it up in a second. Uh, this music indicates a game we like to call top or bottom. Uh, I'm going to read you two things as if they're in a relationship. You're going to tell me which one's on top, which one is on the bottom. Um, it's tailored to you. Uh, we're going to round table it and we'll start with you. All right. It does not have to be sexual. Oh, right. But you know what I mean? If That's you, want it, if you want it musty, man, you do your thing. That's what I was <laughs> Top or bottom, number one, ironing a quesadilla. Or a traditional quesadilla. Iron in a quesadilla is <laughs> tough. <laughs> what, what, like, somebody, like, break it down for me. Why, why are we talking about ironing our food? Well, maybe uh, Justin should go next. 
Well, listen, y'all. <laughs> Sometimes when you're on the road, you're in a hotel, and you got yourself a little extra quesadilla, and you got yourself a little extra cheese, you want to iron that shit. You got to yeah. heat that shit up. So what you do is you put that between, you put that, you know, between some uh, aluminum foil, and you put your iron on it and heat it up. I don't think you want to have aluminum foil, bro. Huh? Nah, yeah, you got you want to use probably yeah. aluminum oh, foil. Oh, see, that's good because I would just put it on the case of did. What? <laughs> see, well, I, well, for, in, in my case, in my case, what I did is I I, I used a towel. I used a hand towel. What? And I, yeah, because I, I didn't have anything to put between it. I don't want them dirty irons being on my damn um, being on my case of did. So I melted it down. I left it on there. And then I ate that quesadilla and I went to work. How was it? It was it was actually delicious. Yeah, so so you're saying iron case ironed an ironed quesadilla on top? Oh yeah, ironed quesadilla on top. I'll take it back. I'll take it. I'll take it any day of the week. Yeah, if you look through uh, Justin's Instagram, which is Jay Brown did it. Mm-hmm, I'm right? there. I'm there. Uh, you I'll will find shit. the uh, <laughs> you will find that the ironing of the quesadilla. No. Me personally, I'm going to dish. Yeah, I'm going to dish. <laughs> I'm going to dish quesadilla. I, I don't <laughs> want my iron to touch my food. <laughs> Me man. either. I hey mean, man. Sometimes let alone that was a hotel iron. Right, right. right. He did put the towel in between, exactly. which I think which is, is a fire. I think that's disgusting. Yeah, right I don't think yeah. the hotel towel is any cleaner exactly. than the hotel iron. Yeah. <laughs> Detergent in your quesadilla. You know where that was? It like a washcloth or a full size towel? Washcloth. Okay. Last time you were in a hotel and you used the washcloth, what what did you do with it? <laughs> yep. You're right. All not, over my balls. Not only how did, <laughs> not only how did you make it dirty, but what did you physically do with it after? You threw it on the floor in the yeah, corner of the yeah, bathroom. Yep. yep. His By the toilet. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. By the fucking And then toilet. you put it on your quesadilla. I did. And ironed it. But imagine. <laughs> I guess. But that <laughs> iron, that iron touches everybody's shit. Yeah, you're hey, right. You're hey, right. What? The <laughs> Yo, <laughs> no, we, we just you're figured out right. why they call you Outbreak Monkey. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know I guess you like, could say. I don't know how I got this ring work. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a case of <laughs> I, got it on, so I got it on my tongue. <laughs> it was delicious. <laughs> That's what he's talking about. I guess you could say his quesadilla was tainted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Top and bottom number two, Elton John or Billy Joel? I go with Elton John on top. I'm not thinking sexually, even though I think he would be. You wait, top. did you say I'm thinking sexually? No, I'm, yeah. even though I'm not thinking uh, sexually. Are you, are, you, are you going to the eyebrows? Like, seriously? No, no, no. Uh, Rocket Man, dude. Oh, Rocket Man, uh, one of my favorite songs of all time. Also, Crocodile Rock. Cause, uh, no, that's a great one. Crocodile Rock. I remember, did you guys ever see Alvin and Chipmunks? They did Crocodile yeah. Rock. Yeah. And they had the cute Chipmunk girl. I remember, like, it was a little You find her attractive. See, I was like, there's another kinda, thing. There's another man. thing. Yeah. Bestiality like, is Brandon's <laughs> other thing. <laughs> he loves eyebrows, I love musk, and bestiality. Man. I love everything. If man. you could get him a really hairy animal who smells like dog shit, yeah. Brandon's going to fuck it. Oh, <laughs> That sounds, sounds terrible. We're really gonna deny that we don't think some cartoon characters are attractive. No, some, but like no. Betty Boop, not who's Ugh. like hot, or Jessica, Jessica Rabbit. Rabbit. You went to the squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> you went to a tiny you squirrel. Know what I mean? a a chipmunk <laughs> with a hairy <laughs> face. You you want to maim a chipmunk with your penis? You want to impale this chipmunk? That's right. terrible. Well, first of all, I never said that. I just said as a young kid, I was like, oh, she's kind of cute. <laughs> you you realize that if you just like when we saw Space Jam, we weren't like, oh, Bad's Bunny's pretty cute. Oh, Bad's yeah. Bunny was pretty cute. No, 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 but at the but at the same time, Brandon, Bad's Bunny is actually kind of a large, overgrown rabbit. Yeah, they are tiny little <laughs> squirrels. Yeah, the chipmunks. Not in the cartoon. They were huh? like, uh, you know, average no, size. They, were, they, were they, were, they were pretty small. Average? No, I think they were small. Yeah, they were pretty small. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure you pulled the audience and and you ask who's the sexiest cartoon. Ninety percent of the people. Will not immediately sing. come back with a human cartoon character. Well, yeah, yeah. like Ariel and Jasmine, all, yeah, all yeah, the yeah. princesses. But, but yeah, in, in, those in, bitches are hot too. Ariel man. had no legs. Sometimes though, I'm man. creative, man. I'm a creative guy. I like to <laughs> have all the kinds of spectrums. See, this is the kind of shit, shit that you're gonna find on the Medium Popcorn <laughs> podcast. Brandon's saying weird, fucking creepy shit, and we have to rein him in. Yeah. Rain in. Like the other day, he said Eric LaSalle is cream. I'm like, what? I about to say Eric LaSalle is a handsome man, but for some reason, cream just came out. Like, did you? When he said that, did your stomach get? Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I think you were thinking Eric Clapton was in Cream. So oh, that's, that's, I see I that. I got you on that. I got that. That's where your head was. Thank you. All right. Oh, God. I'm going um, Elton John on top. Wow, man. Because, uh-huh. you know, that's all. Yo, uh, what's up? Uh, well, there's another Instagram of Justin singing Elton John in his car. <laughs> That's a good uh, fucking song. Which I thought was actually pretty good, actually. You sang that pretty well. Yeah, man. It was just like, I guess that's why they call it the blues. Yeah. Time on my hands should be time spent with you. 
Laughing like children, like that go. Living like lovers, rolling like thunder <laughs> under the covers. Sounds pretty good. And pretty... I guess that's why they call it the blues. That yeah. makes everybody sound better, doesn't it? It does. Justin Brown. Does. Yeah. I love that fucking song. That's so I guess you're jazz. going on John. That's a great song. Yeah, it's a good song. But I think I gotta go Billy Joel on top. I love both these guys, really? man. They're both great, but Billy Joel, man, that that's my goat. Karaoke, I go to a bunch of Billy what, Joel what's, songs. What's your number one Billy Joel song? Uh, I probably um, tell her about New York it. State of Mind, or uh, tell her about it, or Big Shot. It's okay. Great too. Uh, themes from an Italian restaurant. Oh come on, <laughs> Billy Joel on top. <laughs> Every man. song's a hit. Billy he Joel doesn't write new songs. He doesn't write he, them. He just yeah. performs uh, his old songs. Elton John gave us a Lion King soundtrack, bro. Leave on left his war wounds like a crown. That was a, that's a, that's hell, and that's a good one too. Billy Joel wears his war ru- wounds like a crown. Yeah. I guess 50-50, man. That's, that's, that's a tough. I, I think it's, it should go 50-50 when you're talking about those two, right? Yeah. Uh, top or bottom, number three, <laughs> medium popcorn or actual popcorn? <laughs> medium popcorn, baby. You're never going to get a better show than that. Justin, why are you staring at me? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of doesn't make sense in context to medium well, popcorn and regular popcorn. But, but that's okay. the point. Yes. Um, <laughs> figure it out. And you make a decision. Well, I'm I'm going with medium popcorn because I actually I'm not a big popcorn fan. You've known actual popcorn for a long time though, your whole life. Huh? Yeah, but pop, <laughs> pop, popcorn gets stuck in your teeth and stuff oh, like that. So it's annoying, so, right? Yeah, that is oh, annoying. So I'm not a fan of it. Wait, where was I? Dude, that's I was not your the worst house. thing that can get put stuck in your teeth, though. What's that? That's not the worst thing that gets stuck in your teeth. Though. Actually, it's one of them because that shit fucking is just. It's, it's going, so man? hard to get out. <laughs> he's talking, I know he's always uh, talking about musty, some musty shit. He's talking about those eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> you, get the, you get them dingleberries up there, baby. Uh, you know, you uh, go uh, there with uh, man. You're going with it, right? Oh, no, you, d- you went there. I mean, all the way. Hey, no, that's him, baby. He said eyebrows. You said dingleberries. Hey, you talking about eating some ass. Hey, man. I read his mind. I read his mind. Don't put this on me. <laughs> well, for the sake of our guests here, I'm going to go medium popcorn on top. And immediately after they leave, it's actual popcorn on top. <laughs> what, what were you going to uh, say about my popcorn? <laughs> no, no. I, I was just thinking about, you got to think, actual popcorn. Did Dan Bodden just challenge, channel you? No, he's not here. <laughs> you just channeled your body. Is it? Did he? <laughs> he did <laughs> a little that's, bit. That's weird. I didn't even know Dan the was here. The posse is going to enjoy that. Sorry, go yeah. ahead. But anyway, uh, I didn't even notice. <laughs> um, but actual popcorn, there's so many varieties. I mean, regular, just plain, whatever. But what was that popcorn? I was at Mike's house the other day, a few weeks ago. We we're watching uh, the first round of the playoff games. I had popcorn. You had popcorn, man. It was so good. What? Oh, yes. Now, what was that? I don't know, man. It was like kettle corn, but sweet. It was like it wasn't caramel. It was uh, like it tasted like caramel, but it, there, it wasn't caramel. caramel. Like it didn't oh, get like sh- like sugary yeah, and heavy oh. like caramel. Did. It was like cinnamon sugar gotta, popcorn. You know what? It was know. delicious. That was delicious. But I totally forgot we had it. There, there's a place in Brook, uh, Brooklyn popcorn. You have the popcorn trucks. They've got some awesome stuff. They've got. Um, I'm always going like for the cho- flavored stuff. Chocolate, yeah, cho- like the chocolate popcorn. Yeah, uh, and all sorts of like Love crazy. That, yeah. yeah the Flavor so stuff's good. good, but man, I used to work in a movie theater when I was a kid. There's nothing better than a freshly popped like pop. Oh, it out smells right. glorious. It's got hot sauce on it. Yo, yeah, hot, hot sauce, sauce and oh, blue yeah. cheese. Hot, you mm-hmm. don't ever put hot sauce on your I popcorn? I used to do a jalapenos and nacho cheese. That sure. Oh, yeah, that, that sounds amazing. Like Franks, like a little bit of Franks. Little Franks and you dip it in blue cheese? Oh, Whoa, sure. we're talking a whole nother yeah. level. Yeah. Now we're talking right now. Medium, now I guess medium popcorn on top, but like you said, after they leave. Top or bottom number four? Mmm. There's a, I got I got a, a conundrum here. You gave me two choices. I don't know which one I like better. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just, I like picking on Derek. So let's do top or bottom number four: <laughs> Kanye West or Derek D. Uh. <laughs> I'm going I mean, with Derek, like, it's safe to say most people fucking hate Kanye West, right? Yeah, I'm going with Derek. D. I used Is to be accurate? the big. I used to be the biggest Kanye West fan. I until was too. The fucking. Uh, Tour breakdown and Stabbing. then the whole Trump thing. I'm Just, like, fuck him, dude. Don, he, Kanye's gonna perform at your inauguration? I don't think so. I don't think so. He he he's he's terrible. Okay. Actually, I was thinking of taking his wife. And her sisters and just putting them on the border, just their butts. Boom, that's a wall. <laughs> it's a great wall. Kanye's paying for the wall. Like, that that would do the wall, opposite man. of of what he wants to do because that would just attract all the Mexicans. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like that's what they got over here. Oh God! It's an because they are rapists, right? So yeah, they're, 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 they're they'd be yeah. salivating on the yeah. other side. Oh, shit, Frankie, look at our demographics for Mexico. We may have to block this. Am I like killing the whole? <laughs> you are now. We get you guys, yeah, man. <laughs> Fuck, Brandon. I'm sorry. I'll get them back. <laughs> um, 
I guess I'm going to have to go uh, Derek on top. Yeah. Uh, mainly because I know Derek, but uh, once we leave here, I'm going Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> well played, Touché. my friend. <laughs> Touche. Uh, yeah, Derek, the on top. Of Cloud, course, Derek loves Derek. But no, I, li- li- like Brandon said, Derek. Kanye <laughs> was, man, when Kanye was spitting through the wire, mm-hmm. and then... Uh, uh, you know, you know the slow gra- jams. graduation, that was slow awesome. jams. There were so many good songs and great what? producing, and then he just yeah. he just kept uh, like he just kept holding on to all his farts because every his 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 all that shit was just going to his. But head. he's always been like that. The only problem is like he's on he's on filter net. Like no one controls yeah. him anymore. Like Kim Kardashian, them they clearly like don't know how to deal with. Yeah, Jay Z kind of had him under his wing for a while. And yeah. he clearly went crazy yeah. over there because they're well, like. He's like, Jay-Z, I know you're going to put your people on me and kill me. <laughs> I was like, my kids don't see each other. It's like, maybe because you rant about him at a concert full of thousands of people. Yeah, he's That's out what. there, man. I don't know what his deal is. It's okay. Ka- Kanye, <laughs> Kanye, um, I don't want like, to put anybody on top of Derek. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, let me take that back. I like to put everybody on top of Derek, mm. but I hate Kanye. Oh, dude. You know what I mean? And when he lost his mind on SNL, oh, that oh yeah, yeah, down yeah. on the yeah. floor. That was a right. <laughs> well, that was like supposed to be like a church thing. I'm doing this in air quotes and shit, but that was no, man. I, it wasn't crazy. good. He's out of his. I mean, he's been out of his mind since his mom died, and he had that weird Pee Wee Herman outfit. Oh on. yeah, <laughs> like he's been crazy for. Yeah, like I guess 12 maybe years. it's when his mom died. Is when maybe that was the yeah. That's what he said. Yeah, that that that, that was the turning point for him. Yeah. Oh, I guess you're right. Yeah, that's it. Did, did he run? All right. So he runs. Here's how effed up our society is. Right. Like he runs for president as an independent in four years. He gets votes. True He'll get false. votes. True or false. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. He will. Like votes. he makes he makes a difference. Oh yeah. The, the, the ratchets, you know, living in the projects right now, they just like, oh yeah, Kanye's got my I vote. I don't <laughs> think so. After the Trump thing, he would have. He would probably get like some random kids who are like, oh, I love Kanye. <laughs> I'll do anything he says. But you think now that Trump won and everybody's like, oh, we can't f around like that anymore. Maybe. I you mean, know what I mean? Like, it all depends on who runs in 2020. I mean, celebrities are talking now. Like George Clooney's talking about possibly running all this shit. I so. would vote for Jimmy Fallon. What, Frank? <laughs> what? Yeah, I mean, he looks presidential. He's got like he's got like the yeah. uh, the, the 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 gray right on the side. Well, maybe all around. But it's you, what? So you, so what you're saying is we could actually really have a movie. Well, television, think about it. Uh, well, think about it. We have one Ronald, right now. Yeah. We have a television. Ronald oh, no, 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 Reagan. But, but that's like like um. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. He was that's an actor, true. and he, he was actually a very good president. But he was an actor. He was an actor. True. Sure. Like, <laughs> Did you ever see the video of uh, Ronald Reagan like in a movie and he's like slapping some woman around? <laughs> There's a so. movie and the guy goes, he's like, all right, you know, Ronald Reagan's talking to him, he's like, you know, get out of here. And she's like, I'm not going anywhere. I want to stay. And he slowly stands up and then slaps the tar out of her. <laughs> and then these guys have to restrain him. And I'm just like, yep. That guy was impressed. <laughs> yeah. You gotta think though, too. That was that a black woman that he slapped? The internet no, 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 slapped the tower out of her. I was like, oh man, <laughs> no wonder he didn't like black people. The internet plays a big role now, yeah. though, too. Like that wasn't back. I really wish Twitter would just shut down because then Trump would have no. Uh, I disagree, man. Speaking. Well, I think, it, and I didn't vote for him, I, and I didn't vote for yeah. her. I'll just say that. Well, everybody okay. knows on that yeah. listens to the show. I voted for Gary Johnson, um, I, but I think that. Uh, it really doesn't matter what the fuck I think, but I think that you're getting it from the horse's mouth. Whether he's r- ridiculous yeah. or not, crazy, or if he's making There's sense. There's a realness to Nobody it, else is filtering it. You know what I'm saying? You watch CNN, yeah. you get the left. You watch Fox, you get the right. Like, they're all, it's all bullshit on some level. Mm-hmm. At least you know, like, what the Yeah, fuck well, he's what's thinking. coming from this? You know what I mean? Yeah. But the it's fact just that gonna be funny. S- some oh. of those things are bothering him is it's just, yeah. it's just funny. It's just crazy who it's he goes funny after. It's funny weird. Every week it's he like, goes after bother. SNL. <laughs> it's like yeah. SNL sucks. It's like dude, stop <laughs> like I think the be- it, like I guess <laughs> I the presidential watch. thing to say would have been would it would it would have been like um uh, uh the, the, he's not presidential. The, the, the Golden Globes. Who is it? Why am I drawing? Yeah, a yeah, yeah, Meryl yeah. Streep. Meryl Streep. He said, Meryl Streep, you're a great actress. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. That's why this country is great. I may disagree, but whatever. Like something like that. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I no. disagree. But you're, but Why? The, no, like I said, there's both sides. There's that, which change. is the presidential, I mean, the presidential, <laughs> the presidential tweet, <laughs> and then there's what he wrote, which is like, Meryl all Street, right, yeah. uh, you are. I mean, I yeah. mean, I think part of the reason he got elected is because people are tired of the presidential attitude. It's true, true. right? Yeah, but true. then they're also like polling now, saying that they're embarrassed by the way he's acting. Yeah, and they're afraid that. about the way he's going to represent. Like, because remember George W. Bush was out. Like, I thought he had he has really smart people around. He's not the he's not as dumb as everyone trying to make him out to be. But he would go around saying crazy shit in different countries, and they'd be like, "Yeah, Americans are idiots." Yeah, and people were in America were embarrassed by that. Just imagine how he's going to be now 
on Twitter and going around saying this crazy yeah. shit. Well, he, home, maybe, when he went though. to Mexico, they were like, the president, Mexico president was like, yeah, that guy's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like, get this fucking joker yeah. out of here. Yeah, it's a, you know what? It's at the point now where it's happening, it's the way it is, and you hope for the best. Right, that's the, the one thing that's really and aggravating. I hate that everyone's like, Still like, hey, hey, I mean, like, yeah, yeah it's weird, and I, I don't think I like it, but it's... Uh, you can't it, root for him to fail, because yeah. if you root for him yeah, to fail, you're rooting fail. for all of us to <laughs> yeah. fail. I mean, yeah. we're all going down. Let's be real. This is the Titanic. We're all just trying to fuck <laughs> Kate Winslet before we all die. Well, let's see. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> she's just one musty bitch. That's, just, you know that's, that's, that's a stand-up. She got, she got some great eyebrows. That's a stand-up yeah. line, isn't it? That's a no, no. I'm well, you, use, you should use it. I should use it. Yeah. Top or bottom, number five. Last Segway. One. Sketch comedy or stand-up comedy? <laughs> I, I'm really into stand-up lately. I've been doing it uh, consistently now for like three years. I, I love sketch comedy. Like, nothing makes me, nothing's made me laugh harder. Like I love performance stand-up comedy. So here's the thing. I'm going to put stand-up comedy on top, but nothing makes me laugh harder than doing sketch comedy with people like Justin and my friend Dylan. And I like I make them laugh or they make me laugh. And it just like there's no better. I've never had the hardest laughs from performance sketch comedy, whether it be on stage or on video. That I've had working like live with sketch comedy and stuff, mm. but I want to go with stand up on top just because that's where I'm. I'm in the world I'm in now. But. This this is this is really hard. This is really this is hard. a tough one. This yeah. is really tough. Um, I may have to go with sketch, just because sketch lives forever. It, 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 especially I mean, if it's filmed, you know, it can live forever, and people will talk about a sketch as, you know, such and such and such. Like stand up, sometimes it's obviously you got that. I love that immediate, you know, that instant gratification of, um, you know, oh, the instant satisfaction of, you know, of, uh, of stand up and such. But with sketch, it, it's it's just different. It's it's just it's just a, di- a completely different beast. And while I love them both, I'd put sketch just a little bit more. I I'd, I guess I I've been turning more towards acting and stuff like that over the last few years. So I guess that's why I would say sketch. Yeah, that's a, that's that's and that's a tough one because like like Justin said, stand up, you get that immediate gratification. You're up there, it's your material, everything you wrote, you know, it's yours. But and that but sketch is more and I, I consider myself more of a comedic actor than I do of, as a stand up. Even though my one man show is basically sketch and stand up together. Mm, yeah. I kind of combined it all. But I, I th- I think I got to lean towards sketch because I think even my stand-up comedy when I'm on stage, I'm kind of doing a sketch because I don't just sit up there, stand still, and talk. Like I'm back and forth telling a story and uh, coming up with things and improving in my head even at that moment just around the idea. So I think sketch on top. Sorry, it was like a long <coughs> explanation. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm thinking about which one I enjoy most. Like lately I've been, I've been devouring stand-up comedy. You on like Netflix I mean? and stuff? Yeah. Um, just anything. What was the last good special you watched? I watch. I just watched all of Bill Burr's like back to back to back. All Dude, of, there's awesome. three of them up he there. He has the best <laughs> bit, uh, bit about guns that I've heard. Where uh, he, you know, he was pulling the audience like who has a gun or whatever, and he's like, "Have you ever used it to actually defend yourself?" And they're like, "No." no. He's like, "Yeah," and he gave that scenario about like you wake yeah, me yeah. up and like someone comes in with the well, he, oh yeah with yeah. The, the what is it psych or with the the fucking the, yeah the psych the grim, yeah. Re- yeah. grim reaper yeah. thing yeah, he's oh like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, you bang and like the lights flash well you just see him coming closer to you <laughs> the, the line that's brilliant yeah. is like how many of you have shot that gun without without ear protection on yeah. and he's like because when you shoot that shit and you blow off a forty back a forty five yeah. caliber in your in your house all you hear is Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you can't hear shit and he's like yeah. how do you just see the dude coming to kill you it's just like, even more terrifying <laughs> right you get like the fog of war you know yeah. uh, but he's great. awesome man and I started like yeah. just oh, I got on su- I listened to his podcast and then um, his cadence like, he was on uh, he was he was uh, who was he on he was just on Fallon yeah he was like on Conan or so something and he funny, explained man. something he's just he's great yeah. So I've been digging, and uh, not to get too much on him, but like F is for family. Oh, fucking awesome. Have yeah, you guys good, watched it? Yeah. Good really fucking good, awesome. man. Yeah. So stand up. I, I guess I'll put stand up on top. If I had to. He was in Breaking Bad. He was in Breaking Bad. Yeah. I'm yeah. really hoping. Do you guys, do you guys watch Breaking Bad? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Better, call <laughs> Saul. Better Call Better Saul. Better Call Saul. Jesse Pinkman actually is going to. Jesse, you're going to be on Breaking Call, uh, Better Call Saul, right? <laughs> yo, okay, yo, me and Mr. White are coming back as a cameo, bro. <laughs> it's going to be like, yo, we're going to. We're going to be up in that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping that they were going to bring um, Bill Burr's character back onto Better oh, Call Saul. So I'm dude. waiting, you know? Yeah. That, oh, he's a stand-up, too. With yeah, the with the head, black guy. That they were like the head. team, right? Yeah. 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 And he's still, they're both still a lot. They both lived, yeah. right? So it only makes sense. Anyway, this is before. So it only makes sense that at some point. 
I yeah. mean, they, they got paths. like two more seasons right at that show. Because why? Bob, they're only writing three. I mean, Bob. I mean, they, Odenkirk. Bob Odenkirk's looking old, man. Like it's hard to do a, a prequel when everyone's looking older than they were in Breaking Bad. You know, like Mike yeah. is looking really old. Um, I didn't even uh, think about that. I mean, but That's it's just a good show. It's completely really different good. than Breaking Bad. Um, did you guys hear Love Vince it. Gilligan talk about Je- Jesse Pinkman? And how like he he probably ended up. Oh yeah, he wasn't supposed to even. He was supposed to die in the first well, episode. He, yeah, but yeah, no, yeah. no, but the, after the last episode, because like, a lot of people were asking him like, oh, oh so the ca- you're talking about the actual the, character, the actual Jesse character. Pinkman. Yeah, Jesse, yeah. where'd you end up? Yo, I was like <laughs> just walking away. Bro, so I muted this mic. We don't, um, <laughs> Shut up, Jesse. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want to go too long and, and not hear the story. <laughs> just see Derek like trying to think of what. <laughs> Yo, it's just. Um, you you want to really have some fun? Get Jesse Pinkman in an argument with Donald Trump. Oh, like egg man. that shit on and watch watch uh, mine. I'm, <laughs> drop, I'm gonna drop that in a few. Um, no, just real quick. Vince Gilligan said that pretty much Jesse Pinkman. Because everyone was like, oh, he got away, and he probably, like, you know, found the kid, and, like, maybe he had a happy ending. And Vince Gilligan's like, yeah, he most likely would have gotten pulled over for, like, some shit and, like, gotten, like, you know, put in jail for the, the death of two DEA agents. Right. Like, he would have gone down for Hank and the other dude. Mm. Yeah. Because they had that confession video of him. They're like, that's right. the only thing they could link to him. So, yeah, Vince, uh, he's like, Jesse's probably in jail. Or, or, jail, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> or he probably uh, got hooked on uh, meth uh, again because, oh, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he, yeah he was a crazy Yeah, he, uh, I mean, because he just had the craziest last few <laughs> years yeah, of his yeah, life yeah. Yeah. being stuck in that room. Or, he, or it could have went the other way. And Jesse Pinkman, and we could ask him, he's right here. He could have, like, started working out in L.A. Right, Jesse, did maybe you're working out? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yo, I've been pumping iron, <laughs> you bro. Got, you got a personal trainer? Yeah. Oh, you know that guy? It was Arnold Schwarzenegger, wasn't it? Yo, bitch. I'd be like, I'll be back, bitch. Jesse, what, did you, when you first started pumping iron with Arnold, how was that? Like, uh, He's like, no, you stop being a little bitch and just lift the weights right now. Get it up. You only lift the 45. Don, you let this go on? I got to tell you this, kid. I got to tell you this, kid. He is an entrepreneur, okay? He's selling meth. He's not doing it, okay? Jesse, you're Chopping sell- up the blue stuff. It's great. Jesse, you, you're dealing to the president? Yo, if he wants, yo, you, you talk. Can fucking go for you know, hours with you know, you know I mean? my boy Willie Clinton. Yo, getting blowies and doing meth, bro, bitch. I like what you're doing. I like what you're doing right there. That's real nice. See, I actually broke down uh, Jesse right down to my gym, and he's just oh, Mark Wahlberg. Oh. Mark Wahlberg's here. So, oh. Oh. Yeah, things are going. Oh. Things are going very well, and he's you know pumping the iron. And he's getting like me. Mark, tell the people about when you found the transformer. What was your reaction <laughs> when you discovered that, guys? I think we found a transformer. <laughs> <laughs> this is Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Everything he says is a question. Yeah. <laughs> Do you watch Wahlburgers? Oh, dude, I went there. I've when I was seen in Boston. It. Yeah. Oh, There's one in Coney Island. It's not good. Is there? There's yeah, one in Coney Island. They opened it right at the end of the summer. It was fucking bizarre. What do you mean? Is it like, it's just like it's, a McDonald's? Or? It took me 15 minutes to get a burger and fries. And it's like, how was it? It was like a, like a Denny's Applebee's kind of burger. It's it wasn't a basic like anything. Bitch burger. Yeah. yeah, it wasn't anything. It definitely wasn't worth 15 minutes. Just watching a bunch of Spanish people running around making my my food. <laughs> no wall burgers in sight. Paul, Paul wasn't there. No wall burgers. No, no Paul in sight. Oh man. Oh man, that's kind of depressing. I love yeah. that show. I watch it all the time. Oh yeah, the, the show's funny though. Yeah, I do. Man. Any, I don't know why those shows succeed. I guess you have multiple ah. characters. Well, they omit their personal history. That's why. They yeah, I do like. I <laughs> do like, like Mark Wall. Because the mom's always like, like oh, I, they I were such like, good like, boys. Well, a little yeah. rambunctious and stuff like. Weren't they going around beating up Asians <laughs> like when they were teenagers? <laughs> they were like they were like Irish kids from yeah, uh, yeah uh, Boston. Oh well, I'll tell you. Like so, we we're just in South, uh, you know, Southie, you know, you know, down in South Boston, and it's nothing like that anymore. They no, it's yeah. gentrified. Oh no, shit. Shit. Yeah, yeah, out of South Boston right now. Organic markets and yeah, man. All kinds of shit. It's crazy. I was there. I spent a good amount of time there. I worked for the Rangers, and they were playing Boston in the playoffs. So we were there, and we were in all of our Ranger shit. We met a lot of really cool people, and uh, we went to a bunch of dudes were like, come out to Southie. And they're, you know, Boston Bruin fans. Like, normally we'd be murdered. Yeah. And we went to to a bar, and there was like a fire uh, company. Marching band yeah. in this bar, and we walked in and like the record skip because I, I, I mean, head to toe Ranger regalia, you know what I mean? Me and yeah, my yeah. buddy, <laughs> and they're all in their Boston shit, and we're hanging out, and we buy everybody's buying each other drinks, and then we did a bar march with these dudes from Southie, like 
straight gutter accents. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like you better get get, get in your car and yeah, get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> and for some reason, like we talked hockey with like the the main guy, like yeah. Captain Captain Southie, and we were untouchable. And we walked like, to every you ever bar. Seen the potted? That's about me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the potted. Great movie, and it was just a really cool experience. But it was not scary. Yeah, it is completely different. Yeah, it is. I, I was su- very much surprised. Expe- I haven't been to Boston like thirteen years. Oh, and I was there's a reason go, I, I haven't yeah. been to Boston. 13 yeah. years, oh. but it's like completely different. Last time I was there, I think it was 2013. So yeah, I'm, I'm due for a trip to Boston. I gotta be honest, man. I can't tell you the last time I went somewhere that was supposed to be rough and I was like intimidated. Yeah, you know maybe, I mean? maybe parts of one. Philadelphia. Parts of Philadelphia on your way like Pats and uh, yeah. Geno's. Especially if you wear a Giants jersey. I, 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 was, I was just there last year. <laughs> There's like a Philadelphia not so bad. Only place I've been where I was just like, oh no, no, no. Oh, Detroit? This is bad? Baltimore, nope. Baltimore. Detroit's not as bad Detroit's as you, nice. you might. Baltimore. Uh, uh, no. It's St. Louis. Oh, the Louis. St. Bad, Louis, dude. dude bad. I got boys in the hood by the cops out in St. Louis. That's where the wire was shot, Yo, right? Or that's, Bal- that's, no, that's Baltimore. Baltimore. Oh, Baltimore. Baltimore's another one. Baltimore, there's parts of Baltimore that's such a shithole. It's just like, just like the building's boarded up. Like, that's a real thing. And it's still like that. It's today. just like Asbury. I mean, Asbury, there's parts that are still bad, but no, there's no, 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 no. Not, Bal- not Baltimore's even, a different man. story. Oh, I'm not saying it's as bad as what he's talking about. I feel like Chicago might be rough, man. Because I don't know Chicago. Oh, right now. Oh, yeah. Well, with Chicago, I used to go because I'm from. Michigan. I used to go there in the summers, and even the summer, like like years ago, it was rough. And now to know that it's worse, I'm like, yeah, that might not be the place yeah. to go, even if like you are black. And you're red. you ever go to uh, one of the lakes, and when you're in Michigan, yeah, yeah. Like okay, lake what do you Michigan. call what do you call it? Like Michigan? No, like when you're going there, you know, like what you say, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go to the, uh, we're, lake? we're we're like the water meets the earth. <laughs> oh, the. The land. the land. Yeah, what do you call it? What do you guys, what do you Michonians call that? We, we call it the ground. <laughs> you don't call it the beach, right? No. Nah. See, there's yeah, no see? beach in no Michigan. Beach. No, we don't have a beach We've in had a, we, we yeah, have, we have people. We've had people that's called the beach. Like, come on. Really? We have listeners the beach is that right are over saying there. We, we're going to the beach. I'm like, that's not a beach. That's a lake. And yeah. Lakes, yeah, lakes yeah, meet yeah. rocks, and that's like, I'm yeah. What I love about Michigan people is like, oh, so uh, where are you from? So I'm... I'm from here. Oh, they yeah. hold up their hand yeah, and they yeah, start yeah, pointing. Yeah. Oh, I'm from <laughs> here, don't you know? Right here. <laughs> All right, so we're getting a little long in the tooth here, but I want to play this game. Do we have another? We have a, we have a game. Oh. All right, so uh, I think we're going to do it real quick. We'll, we'll fire through it. So this is, um, well, first, I guess Dan Bodden will bring it in. Hey, everybody, Dan Bottom here. That's B-O-D-D-A-M. Spells his name wrong every... Every time. Not wrong, different. I don't know. Dead bottom, B O D D U M. All right, Dan, we're going to play uh, Rehashing Your Hashtag. We haven't played this in a long time. Um, this is this is Justin's uh, Twitter here. It's uh, at J Brown Did It. He has 960 total tweets. Oh, God. All right, this is Rehashing Your Hashtag. I'm going to read you what you wrote and when, and you're going to tell us what the hell were you thinking? Okay. It's not, not really a game at all. Oh, boy. Number, uh, number one. October 4th, 2013. Does that ring a bell? Game! <laughs> Damn! Damn, we're already in it. Damn, we're in it. We're already in it. The guy's crazy. I'm sorry, Bob. I'm so glad you have this kind of program for your podcast. <laughs> you bring in people. We have, have so many needs. people. Such talent. <laughs> yeah. Just. You didn't know we had a, we had an announcer just shoved in that closet. <laughs> I love it. Just support the community. He just comes out. Needs. So Dan, good. get back in the closet. <laughs> He's just in a cage, and you're just feeding him fucking pepto <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Dan, do you know why October 4th, uh, 2013 was a special day? Absolutely. Why? The day my wife divorced me. No, it's about Justin Brown, Dan. Oh, okay. Uh, it's your first tweet ever. Oh, okay, wow. Do you remember what it was? I'm not even I married. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> and was never, uh, quite frankly, never had sex. <laughs> All right. Uh, Sorry, yeah, everybody. Yeah, please, get it back in the closet. <laughs> yeah, get out of here. Sorry, uh, Sorry about that, Justin. October 4th, 2013, uh, at J Brown did it said, my dog just farted, then looked at me and I did so- like I did something wrong. Hashtag, deal with it. You know what blows my mind about that? What's that? Is that your first tweet ever was about your dog farting. Yeah. That That's- was your very <laughs> first tweet? Your number one tweet? I mean, your first ever, ever? Yeah, what the hell were you thinking? What? I don't even know, guys. Man, you I don't need even a know. Girlfriend. You need some. You need well, actually, at yeah, that time, I just broke up with my girlfriend. So I spent a lot of time with my fucking dog. That's what that's what, that's what <laughs> There it is, guys. There's the story. The dog was looking at you like, you need a girlfriend. Yeah. So I'm a fart. The dog's looking Get at me just like, I see you've been around a lot. <laughs> He's like, I'm single. I need to start a Twitter account. <laughs> October 14th, 2015. This is two years later. Maybe you got some since then. I don't know. Okay. Uh, he said, at 
J. Brown did it, said, Hey, dude, if I if your jeans can be mistaken as spandex, you're wrong. Hashtag do it better. Hashtag dress like a man. Hashtag where your nuts go. <laughs> <laughs> this guy probably orders. This guy you're talking about, small popcorn. Well, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, very small popcorn. I mean, I mean, you, if, if you've ever been to Williamsburg, uh, Brooklyn, mm-hmm. then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. These dudes, they look they look like they're wearing wrestlers in ring attire. Yeah. You know, Try so not to get that in worm. the form of yeah. Gene. Yeah, in the, in the form of Gene, <laughs> but it's just like, you got no bulge, dude. Like, what are you doing? Where, where is it? Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I mean, yeah. Compacted. Yeah, they got hips, what? I said they're hipsters. I didn't say no, they I think they have hips. I'm like, Brandon. Yeah. Uh, May 19th, 2016. We're in a year ahead now. Frankie, I see what you're doing here. It's more fun when she's, not Mike, when she's not just staring at us weirdly from across <laughs> the table. Uh, now we jump all over people for quoting songs. This <laughs> oversensitivity bullshit needs to stop. I didn't realize it was two sentences. Um, hashtag Blake Lively, rock your hashtag Oakland ass with pride. Uh, thumbs up, yeah, thumbs yeah. up but it's. That was a nice ass. It's a moderately tan thumbs up. Oh, yeah. I I like to go with the black thumbs. Well, you know, at that time, I don't know if you could uh, choose uh, ethnicity in the thumb. 2016? Yeah, yeah, Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Andy, our new uh, fact checker. Wow, wow. Fact check it. (laughs) When did we get, when were we able to do ethnic emojis? Oh, no. Ethnic emojis was probably around there. I can't find them, but yeah. Yeah, I think they they were were definitely in 2016. But I think yeah. it might have been in 2014 or 15. So you're anyway. defending people that are quoting songs. Huh? Yeah. You're, you're, no, I, I was totally fine with her talking about uh, Baby Got Back and the, uh, yeah. her Oakland ass. It's totally fine. She's yeah. she, she was rocking that dress. Uh, that that butt so looked hot. amazing. You guys see the shallows when she's finding that shark and she got titties all over? Even though I, I, seen I, that movie, I, must, I must say. I almost watched it on a plane. But. The, the, ass, the ass isn't as, as amazing as, as it looked in that dress on, on, on that day. But, you know, on that day, she deserved it. Mm-hmm. She yeah. deserved it. I say it's still probably. She just had a baby, you know. She was plump. (laughs) October twenty first, twenty sixteen. Oh God! Recent. Just watched a man stop to hit a crack pipe like I was lighting a cigarette. (laughs) I remember this tweet. (laughs) Hashtag people watching. Hashtag this is the worst hashtag of all time. Uh, Hashtag. What in the Whitney Houston? <laughs> I'm only oh, assuming that's how you met her. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, you click you click on that hashtag. It's nothing else is coming. Up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, All right. It's like the antithesis of what hashtags. in the Whitney yeah. Houston. <laughs> yep. What is in the Whitney Houston for real? No, yeah. I was uh, it was, it was October. All right, I wasn't on the roads. Yeah, so I was in uh, I was in New York. And I literally saw a guy just like on the street, and he just pulled out a crack pipe and just started smoking crack like right there I, in front of me. I'm just like, "What the fuck, dude?" That's Apparently, cr- that's just cr- casual. That that happens. <laughs> I was in, I was in, uh, you know, like in the city in, the, in a in a deli. <laughs> you know, in a deli, crack. you could literally <laughs> crack, crack happens. Crack, crack happens. happens. But no, you know what? Crack is a big thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you could be at a deli and you could sit at the counter where you're just looking right out the window. Yeah. Well, directly in front of me was an old telephone booth, not old telephone booth. Just just tell moving the city where it's like half fully yeah, covered. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw a dude go in there, wrap the rubber around his arm. Oh, shit. And inject Come heroin. on. Hundred thousand percent. Hundred thousand percent. I'm just eating and I'm just, people are just walking right by. He's very concealed. Took it out of the book bag and everything. And I'm just like. And he just stood there and he swayed for a little bit. Like every, yeah. After he was done. And yeah. I walked away. It's fucking insane. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes wow. you just need a hit, man. Wow. That's, that's like. Uh, geesh. I don't get it. Um, January 9th, 2017. In case y'all forgot, the Ste- the hashtag Stephen Irwin, the hashtag Croc Hunter, was one of the baddest motherfuckers to ever live. Hashtag respect the man. Hashtag never forget Australian flag crocodile emoji. You're damn right. You're damn right. And I stand by that tweet. Were you watching Animal Planet? It was like yeah, a rerun? No, no. <laughs> You're sticking that <laughs> late in bed like, like, man, he Steve has Irwin. calendar and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Steve Irwin. Remember. I'm talking about Steve Irwin on the <laughs> No, uh, my friend sent me a, a, a something on Instagram of Steve Irwin like holding some sort of fucking animal. And I'm just like, Man, that crocodile, he was a bad motherfucker. He was, and then he got killed by a, a, a stingray that never yeah, kills yeah, yeah. nobody. A stingray, How out well? of all things. That's terrible. How dare? How dare? His daughter was on Dancing with the Stars. And yeah, she she's like, like she every day she was like talking about her dad. She's I like, probably shouldn't have said She's that. like, my dad. My dad, yeah. He died following his dreams. <laughs> is she, what, How she, was that? How old is she now? Is that right? Uh, 
She's like is she like eighteen. She's like eighteen. Twenty. I think she's getting there. Who's this? I think she's getting there. Crocodile's daughter. Hunter's daughter. Does she have a show now? No, she's she was on Dancing, Dancing with the Stars. stars. She any good? Uh, she was alright. You watch Dancing with the Stars? How are yeah. those eyebrows? <laughs> oh, they're alright. <laughs> musty. They're alright. Yeah. The other dancers well, uh, had well, way better. Well, a- a- after her dances, she was very musty. So he's like, damn, <laughs> he's holy, she would pluck that right one. That must. Brandon's about to hook up with a girl. He goes, hold on a second. I want you to, <sighs> I want you to get out and run a marathon, then come on back to daddy. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me, okay, like, guys, you're telling me there's a woman that you wouldn't be like, no, no, I don't yeah. care what you smell like, yeah. it's going to happen? No. No. I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. I'll be like, hey, let's no. jump in the shower. Wait, Emily. Dave. Hey, yeah. hey, good <laughs> job. You won, you won a rehashing your hashtag. Good night for that hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. go back. <laughs> get back in the cage. All right, uh-huh. see ya. <laughs> Bill DDM. Oh, he doesn't even know how to spell it. All right, so this show is all about the revolution of our guests, which is you guys, which is sketch comedy, comedy, podcasting, however you want to look at it. So the year is 2050. You're sitting back in your reclining chair looking at your industry. Um, uh, what is, how many years? 34, 33 years? 33 years from now, what does the industry look like? Mm. We've had so many, like, we talked about this a million times, but it's always interesting to see what people say. It's going to be, the industry's going to be like, we need a white person. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're not talking about white. SNL. We're talking about... <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the industry's really going to be like, yeah, we need white guys. I think it's going to reverse itself. Because by then, white, guy, white people are going to be the minority in the world, right? So the, I, I can see Comedy Central, like, if there's, they're, they're like on their, like, uh... Hulu glasses or whatever the fuck, and they're like, yeah, we need a new sitcom idea. Get us a white guy. We need the white struggle story. Go out to Alabama. <laughs> Give me that story. That's kind of funny, actually. I Don't you think, like, all like all ethnicities will be the minority at that point? Hopefully, at that point. I think we're going to be so Probably. racially mixed yeah. by that yeah. point, it won't even matter. We kind what, of are, what are you saying, Bullworth, that we're going to find full equality? He's like, we just got to fuck each other until we're all the same color. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. We kind of are. It's like the yeah, are very, like, I mean, well, there's a lot of mixed. There, you know, no, a ton, and it, I think it's great. Yeah. I think, and I think it more ha- has to happen. I think once it starts happening more in rural areas, that's where you're going to have, like, the whole, we're going to be all equal pretty much. What's, hey, what's, uh, like, I'm all for it. You ever seen mixed chicks? Yo. Mm-hmm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Not only that, That's but both worlds. Yeah. But, <laughs> but the best <laughs> athletes too, like Derek Jeter, Derek um, Angelus, uh, Jason Kidd, like they're all like these sick, Blake Griffin, yeah. good-looking athletes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Obama. Wait, wait, you think Derek Jeter smells like musk? His eyebrows are wonderful. Yo, I, <laughs> wait, what? I know Derek Jeter been fucking some chicks that have musk. Yo, Jimmy Graham ain't the whitest <laughs> black dude though. Jimmy Graham ain't the whitest black dude. I don't think he has a white parent. Jimmy Graham is what color? He's 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 not white. He is white, but he's black dude. He's white. <laughs> black dude. If, I, if, he's if, like you, the if you just saw his arm, like that's a white dude. Nope, black dude. Jimmy Graham. Uh, yeah, the the, the uh, tight end on the Seahawks. All right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's an Eminem of football players. <laughs> what do you think? Thirty three years. Thirty three years. I think things would be so PC there will be no comedy anymore. Oh, geez, I hope not. Wow, man. I'm a comedy un PC fighter, man. I, 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 I comedy think needs to be comedy. I think the things will just it'll be it'll get so PC that he, their comedy will be outlawed because Ooh. it's yeah. <laughs> brutal. I mean, it's possible. I, I think that we're uh we're going away from PC, which I like. Though. Well, actually, that's that's I the one. Th- that's I the think one that's reason. Happen in the next four years, the one plus side will be that everyone just won't give a fuck about. I almost punched myself in the face yesterday because I read. <laughs> this I want to do it every day. I, <laughs> I read this thing that these two universities are adopting. Z, you don't say he or she now. You say Z. What? Yeah. Yeah, come on. Well, that's I'm like, like come okay. on. Never heard that. So that's the crazy thing about like I think that's where like when a lot of people say that we push like these really high social um, feelings and uh, progressive, you know, agendas more onto the people that don't want that change that fast. That's definitely where that shit comes from. Because yeah. I be, I get yelled at sometimes by like friends that are like either 
uh, transgender or homosexual or stuff for being insensitive to, about certain terms. I'm like, I don't even fucking know. Yeah. Like, you guys have to tell me. You can't get mad at me because I am i don't know. You can't call me ignorant. But at the same yeah. thing, that, I'll pee on everybody. That was ma- That was like... <laughs> That's what I do when I'm angry. I just pee on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's, it's getting way out of hand. Way, it's just like Z about Z. Like, yeah. What does that, that mean? Z is it's for that's why, and she. That's if I why called I you Z, you wouldn't be like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'd be like, my name's not Zach. I just don't think. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's why what, what Trump is doing is kind of, is kind of refreshing in a sense that that's why people kind of went that way because we're tired of that nonsense. It's, not necessarily we want him. No, it's we're tired control. of the bullshit. Like Especially political correctness comedians. needs to chill out. You go to you can't go to a stand up show at a college. They're like, okay, here's your list of things you can't say. Like back in the day, it was like, nah, yeah. go up there and do comedy, whatever. Yep. It's like you can't say fat jokes, can't do this. Do this, do this. Yeah. Like, what, 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 what? It's yeah, comedy. You're you're a thousand percent correct. It's crazy. That's, and and that's that's the one thing was like you know, Trump being in office is like I, t- I kind of don't mind that. But mm-hmm. it's like I it's hard to say that to people Let's just see. because they're just like, but what do you mean? Are you saying? I'm like, no, guys, I'm not with the Trump uh, bandwagon. But mm-hmm. that's probably gonna be better for comedy sake. I gotta tell you, and I don't. Oh hell yeah, right. yeah. it's gonna be great. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be fantastic. <laughs> Justin, I like this guy. I don't really like him, but I like him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? I have it queued up. What was the the girl who tweeted at us? We were, we had a term to sing to. Crispy crispy catnip. Crispy catnip. Cap. No, no, it was catnip maker or something. Yeah, she got some nice eyebrows. I saw them. On I showed them to you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Oh wait, she probably hates me now because I don't think Frank that's... in or out. Do we sing that? Do we sing? Or do we just get out of this? Sing. Oh. Sing it out. You want to sing? No, let's sing it out. Yeah, we Are we all sing it together? Because when I said sing, you both picked up your phones. Catnip no, no, like, magic. <laughs> no, because catnip magic. I, I wanted to make sure we shouted it right out. Was it catnip ah. magic? Was that yes. catnip magic? What did I say? Cr- crispy catnip? <laughs> Are we doing the uh, we're doing a karaoke version? I, I mean, first of all, I don't even know if this is what, you, what you're feeling. I don't know. You guys tell me. I mean, I. I mean, it's a great song. Is it karaoke? It's Catnip Magic. Oh. Are Cat we just? Name. Is this the instrumental though? Magic. Girl, that's been on my mind all the time. Catnip Magic. <laughs> Cat- Catnip Magic. Can you feel it? Uh. G. Licking my hands. Oh, wow. I don't know, cat. By the hand. Catnip magic. Apertic Catnip magic. Uh, you niggas ready? <laughs> <laughs> I want to grab you by your eyebrows. Smell your musk and smell your fart. Did someone say Catnip magic. That's Brennan's girl. Are you guys ready, honkies? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, he said the Edward. I said the H word. Catnip magic. Oh, she it smells is. so <laughs> good. Catnip magic. Put your booty high. in my hood. Whoa. What? <laughs> what is Brandon singing about? I'll tell you what. Catnip magic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Catnip magic. She smells so nice. I want to see you going for a run. The bitchy dog. <laughs> I want to see you after a bike trip. Oh, this is getting gross. Brandon's gonna like that musk. I want to see you after a trim. Oh, yeah. Eyebrow trim? Eyebrow trim. You know. <laughs> I want to touch. You on your kid. He's like a robot. <laughs> just, now. just one of them. Just one of them. Catnip magic. <laughs> you niggas ready? Catnip magic. Honkies already. <laughs> Catnip magic. <laughs> Catnip magic. <laughs> she pulls it out. Uh, oh, that's great. Wow. I smell so good. And there it is. <laughs> Catnip magic. Oh, I love it. Guys, thank you so much. Oh, that was so crazy. <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> Cat and Magic will live forever. Yep. Thank
Thank you so much for coming down. Is there anything you want to plug in the way uh, out? Thank you, man. Uh, Medium Popcorn, uh, iTunes, Stitcher, Podomatic, man. Uh, we do it every week. You can follow me at American Collins, AmericanCollins.com. I got a lot of shows coming up. Thank you guys so much for having us Thanks on. Thanks for coming Thanks on, man. Coming out. Fucking ridiculous. Uh, Outlier shows, the brand new that. Oh, yeah, you Comedy know. Outliers, a monthly uh, stand-up comedy show as well as a podcast, ComedyOutliers.com. But you'll find all of that if you just follow me on, right on. on Twitter, American Collins. Guys, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at JBrownDidIt. Um, we still don't know what you did. But, uh, uh, I, I do everything. <laughs> I do everything, and I'll show you, and I'll yeah. see, and you'll see what I did. You follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Um, also, you can follow me. You, you can you know see me around the country doing these freaking auto shows. If you, I don't know if you want to show up, show up at your auto shows and come and bother me. You can do that. Nice. And of course, medium popcorn. The whole title is medium popcorn. Niggas spoiling movies. We always we uh, come out with a new one every Wednesday. Yep. Awesome guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thanks, fellas. Peace. Oh, uh, Musk. Ha, ha, ha.